It's nice to meet you guys. You too. Congratulations on the film because it's, uh, I love the, the atmosphere. I mean, the atmosphere is almost everything. What's it like starring in, in a film with this kind of atmosphere? Does it affect your performance? How, how does it affect your performance? Um, well, the house, I think, affected our performance in a great way because we were actually filming in a haunted house, which is really helpful. Yes. Um, the floorboards actually creak. Uh, everything is really dusty. It's very dark, so it's a little bit creepy, and that really helps. Um, but I think we kept it quite light when we weren't filming so that it wasn't a really kind of depressing experience because <laughs> otherwise it would be very dark. Right. So we had a lot of fun both on and off set. Yeah, yeah. Well, I did. Yeah, and I think, uh, I think visually uh, it's so sort of eerie and haunting due to Richie's amazing camera work right. um, and the lighting. I think that was something that they took real care and attention over, and that really shows on screen. Um, and I think that sort of sells that atmosphere. It's also nice when you can tell that the film has been shot properly, and there's not, not a lot of work done afterwards to make it, you know, yeah. it, right? So the cinematography is obviously especially important, I think, for the mood of this film. Did you, what did you go in expecting? Did you have anything in terms of playing the characters that you, you kind of went in uh, trying to aim for? I think film-wise, um, horror, particularly gothic horror, is a genre that I wasn't very familiar with. Um, mm. And what sort of little I did know was very visual-based. Um, and in the film we do sort of have quite a few of those gothic tropes, which is really lovely. Um, and I think fans of the genre will will get that. Um, but other than that, it's a kind of personal preparation. It was a lot just to do with the script, really. Um, because it's all there, particularly for my character who doesn't have any life outside at all from the house. So it was just that environment and the story that you had to focus on, which in a way made it a bit easier, but also kind of only gave you one right. one thing to focus on. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and also I think the most important thing for me was getting the character right and that was all about talking to Brian and David right. and just knowing exactly what they had in mind and they're so clear about everything aren't they like on set it's just amazing to work with Brian because he knows what he wants and talking to David who we were talking about this before you read the script but he knows the whole story he has everything figured out so you could ask him any question and before the script, after the script, before the story, and he'll be able to answer you just like that, which is really helpful when you're preparing a character to kind of go beyond that a little bit and have a bit of prep. That's cool. And preparing the relationships, really, because it's yeah. such an intense relationship, two <laughs> twins who live on their own in a crumbling manner. Well, that's another thing. Could you guys just set up for people who haven't seen the film yet, or, which right now is quite a few people, it would be less later on, but what, what, what's the... Explain your characters, I guess. Um, it's essentially a story about uh, a brother and sister, they're twins, and they uh, are, there are rules, there's a curse that ties them to this house, um, and those rules are, have to be in bed by 12, you can't let a stranger through your door, uh, you can't leave each other, and you can't leave the house permanently. Um, and yeah, it's basically the story of this kind of hostile environment in which they live and uh, their, their relationship and eventually um, Charlotte's character Rachel has to kind of make a decision. There's that, the opening rhyme I think is, is quite creepy, it sets the tone yeah. quite well. Did, did you learn it off by heart? Did you? We, we had to do a bit of a singing prep yeah. and neither of us are singers I don't think. But, so uh, that was David the writer George. actually wrote that. He did. Uh, yeah. he, well obviously he wrote the words but he right. also wrote the, the music. That's the, amazing. The tune yeah. to that. It's like there's nothing he can't Which is, do. there is nothing. <laughs> that's rare, I mean that's pretty yeah. rare to have someone yeah. who can do both. There's a really particular tune, it's not, no. you hear it the first time round and you think it's a nursery rhyme, yeah. but really there are these there are these kind of weird rhythms and, and kind of tones to it, mm -hmm. which does again lend to that. It's a bit like that da 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 Yeah, it does da, always. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and it, it's, it's really creepy, I mean, that, that tune I mean, it, it sets yeah. a perfect tone. In terms of 
you know, working with the director, tell us, you know, what was, what was, what was the overall experience like? What, what did you take away? Did you learn from him as well? Was there anything he taught you? Of course, I think yeah. you always learn from any job. But I think Charlotte touched on it earlier how actually the environment was one of kind of happiness and yeah. general cheer because I think it would have been too much not to have um, done that. Right. But um, yeah, I think you, you often learn from any job. Um, not from anything, not often anything in particular, but you mm. know. Um, you pick up on things you do and the way you work, but also the way that others tend to work and um, what suits best for certain environments. Films change, you know, with so many different uh, kind of variables. Uh, that no job is the same, so as much as you can learn it, you have to kind of reassess right. and work out what's best for this set. So I think on this one we found the perfect kind of combination. Cool. Uh, what comes next for you both? Um, what does come next? I just shot a film in uh, Wales called uh, Postle, which is directed by Gareth Evans, who directed cool. The Raid and The Raid 2. Yeah. Um, and that was uh, Netflix original, so mm -hmm. I think we can expect that on Netflix sometime early next year. Cool. But I'm not that sure. But yes. Yeah. And oh, I have a really small role in American Assassin. Oh, cool! Yeah, okay, so which just just came out. It's well, we're going to the premiere it's in time, LA it? on Tuesday, so cool. and we're going together, so that'll okay, be fun. Okay, yes, <laughs> next week, right? Yeah, awesome. they have a few screenings, and we're going to the one in LA. Awesome, so that'll be really fun. Well, congratulations! Thank you. Thank you guys very much. Thank you so much.